Morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, guys, it was um a two-game slate last night, and remember I told you guys I'm not really a fan of two-game slates, but we did good. I, I went 50-50. I had one game that I didn't give to everybody else. I only I did an insane community game, and it proved that I was insane, and I won't do too many more of those, but hey, you win some, you lose some. So the insane community game, I, I gave it out to my insane community VIPs. It came at a 284. We needed a 289.7 to get into the money, so that one didn't work out, but hey, like I said, you win some, you lose some. But my uh, main slate contest came in at a 298, needed a 290 to get in, so that one cashed. I had Jeff Teague, Tony Parker, Stevenson, Green, James, Leonard, Love. I told you all guys Love was going to ball out tonight, right? Um, Randolph and Thomas. All right, my MLB cash, guys. I had a 117 in the MLB, so I went two out of three, guys. Hey, that's not bad. Remember I told you guys I was only going to play one, maybe two dollars, because I don't really like two game slates. Because you, you, if you miss on one player, one player can set you back a lot. I like at least a three game slate. All right, well, on to today, guys. So two for three, that means I am now eight out of nine. I take it. Okay, so now we're gonna break down today's slate, guys. And um, remember what I told you guys, man. The thinking ink, man. If you write down what you do, you know you'll always be able to revert back to it later on. So you can see the mistakes you made. All right, guys. So today on tap, we have a three-game slate. And remember, guys, I told y'all guys that Toronto is on upset alert. Um, I don't know how they're going to bounce back today. But I know that Milwaukee now is fired up because this team is young. And they only know one speed. That's go after you. So they're going to go after Toronto again. I like Giannis Akintokounmpo. DeMar DeRozan is going to come out and play the game of his life. Kyle Lowry, I think he's going to struggle again. Um, Serge Ibaka will play consistent. I think Middleton is going to be consistent. Monroe will not have that kind of game he had last time. Brogdon doesn't know no way other than the ball out, so he's going to do well. And my low-profile player of the game is going to be Michael Beasley. I think he's going to get more minutes today. And now Chicago at Boston. I think Boston is in a world of hurt. Remember, I told you guys that Boston was going to be a tough team because they got two guys that won championships. Um... If Isaiah Thomas doesn't have a phenomenal game, there's nobody else on Boston that really can create their own offense. Bradley is a, what, on a good night, he'll give you 30, 31 fantasy points. Crowder can get you 30 on a good night. He had an off night. But I still say that that um, Boston's going to bounce back tonight. They're going to win tonight. Mark it down, guys. They're going to win. But I love Jimmy Butler. They can't stop him. Isaiah Thomas, they can't stop him. Al Horford, I do like him. He, he did ball out. For Boston. Um, Rajon Rondo, they have no answer for him. <clears throat> He's going to ball out again. Dwayne Wade is going to ball out again. Marcus Smart, I don't like. Crowder is going to bounce back. Avery Bradley is going to bounce back. Robin Lopez, they, they can't stop him down low. He's just too big. Um, Portis is not going to have that kind of game again, but he's going to be consistent. He's um he's a pretty good player. I like Miritich, and my low-profile player of the game will be Kelly Olenek. Something tells me that Kelly Olenek is going to go bonkers tonight. I don't know why, but my spidey senses are tingling, guys. And for Utah at the Clippers, um, the Clippers are not going to win this series against Utah. The Clippers, the Clippers just don't have the the heart. Blake Griffin is another one to me that doesn't have the heart of a champion. He plays too. Above him, mean, he, he dunks and all that flashy stuff. But when the game's on the line and you give the ball to Blake and say, Give me a bucket, he can't deliver. Um, I love Chris Paul. Um, Blake Griffin, he's gonna get stats. So if you like stats, but for 86, uh, you can roster him. Um, I like DeAndre Jordan. Gordon Haywood is gonna ball out again. George Hill is gonna ball out again. Derek Favors is going to be the man tonight. Him and Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson is my low-profile player of the game. And J.J. Redick is going to bounce back tonight. I don't think he's going to shoot like he did last time. All right, guys. So I broke the slate down, guys. You know, if you like what I did, hit the like button. Subscribe to me. Um, it's now 6.50 in the morning. And, guys, this is what I want to say, man. Isaiah Thomas played through 
one of the worst tragedies that a human being could play through, man. And I want to see him win tonight. I think that he's going to win tonight.